Good morning, everyone. Good morning. morning. So from an outside view, my life may have seemed like I've checked all of the Christian boxes. I was a baby in a foreign country while my parents served as missionaries. I grew up going to church, and I prayed at an early age to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I trusted that he would forgive me for my sins and give me eternal life. Since then, I've been baptized and I've been discipled. But I had always thought of Christianity as this religion where I had to check all of the boxes and follow all of these rules. And I thought if I ever sinned, then I wasn't a good Christian anymore. My faith was very shallow, and in times of tribulation, I kept everything to myself. Last year, I was struggling with a broken relationship with a family member. I convinced myself that God couldn't understand or relate to what I was going through. I tried my best to control the situation myself, but it just led to bitterness and resentment towards others and towards God. As months went by, I thought I would never overcome the weight that I felt in my heart. I had told myself that God had stopped paying attention to me and that he didn't care about what I was going through. At last year's youth summer camp, I finally decided to open up to a youth leader about what was going on. I had realized that I had been trying to control things that were God's responsibility and not mine. This youth leader told me the importance of giving our burdens to God, as stated in Psalm 55, 22, which says, give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. The next morning, as we attended our last morning session for the week, I could have never guessed the change that was about to occur in my life. We began with singing songs of worship and ended with the song, Goodness of God. A certain lyric stuck out to me that I will never forget. The lyric was, with my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. It was in that moment that I realized I had only been giving God the best parts of me. This was the moment in which I fully surrendered myself to Christ, including my flaws and my burdens. The weight that I had felt in my heart for so long disappeared. I had bottled up so much bitterness towards God that he was able to empty out within seconds. And as we sat down to listen to the sermon, God's faithfulness continued to be shown. I listened as the speaker preached on each and every topic and emotion that I had shared with my youth leader the previous day. Some of the things that I had said were repeated word for word by that speaker. I was so sure that God had not been listening to me or caring for me, but in that moment, he made it so clear to me that he had been there for me all along, even when I tried to shut him out. There were days that I thought that feeling that weighed me down would never go away, and I wasn't sure if God would help me overcome it. But my favorite verse, John 16:33 reminds me that, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. I know that God will continue to put trials in my life to help strengthen my faith, and I've chosen to see these tribulations as future opportunities for God's faithfulness to be revealed once more. Thank you.